You guys good? Oh, great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait. We need, to, we, we need to have a peaceful sound. A peaceful sound. You guys ready? Sponsored by Coca-Cola. It's a regular Coke, not even a Diet Coke. It's the Mexican Coke. <laughs> Coke Zero? <laughs> He's not watching. He's not oh, watching. Man. He's not watching Mad his man. calories. Mad bad, <laughs> man. bro. Fuck. Wait, it was a tough week or what? <laughs> it's also live podcast, baby. Most authentic, most organic <laughs> podcast out here. Let's go. Get it together, Let's Deuce. Go. <laughs> Get it together. Why, why are you guys judging me so hard? Never. How'd you, how'd you come up with the name Dusko? Well, Where'd that come from? Well, let's, let's What's your real name? Can we introduce everybody first? Oh, my God. I don't even know what his real name <laughs> is. Who's this guy? <laughs> All right. So, I appreciate everybody watching, subscribing, sharing. We are celebrating 225,000 followers on Instagram, baby. <laughs> let's go. Stop it right now. And, and the words of Jose, 225,000 shots. Exactly. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, not down for but down. <laughs> honestly, thank you to everybody that's following, that's sharing, that on. You guys have changed our life forever. <laughs> but to my left, I got the one and only Mr. Pepe in the house, baby. Let's go. We Great have. Clap though. See, I told you he hated me. <laughs> 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 He's literally just fucking staring like the yeah. fuck is that? Sorry, bro. This is a fucking. <laughs> Tell me cut you hate water. me without telling me you hate me. It's not you. It's the cut water. It's the kill <laughs> water. Uh, all right. We have a very powerful, confident, amazing woman right next to Pepe, Miss Jack Jack Segura. Yeah. Holding it down. And That's after crazy, a whole year, a whole year. It's been a year. And for everybody to understand who this is, the little boy that went viral on our show. His he grew dad, up. His dad is alive. <laughs> and he's here. It's, it's not the little boy that went viral. It's the most <laughs> viral fucking video on a taste on a taste <laughs> on a t- <laughs> different podcast. A toast to life podcast. <laughs> Sorry, these guys gave me too many drinks. But <laughs> the most viral video on Instagram and TikTok and TikTok wow. and YouTube. And wow. YouTube. We I'm not the- going to say he skyrocketed these guys, but <laughs> he put us up there. He got him up there. <laughs> the one and only Drake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just wanted his flowers. <laughs> yeah, oh, it wasn't even me. It was Gage. Wait, just call Drake and tell him, check in. How is he? How's he doing good? Oh, he's good. He's good. Yeah. Uh, whole different human. He's a little bit older. He's going through puberty. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, when we recorded with Gage, how old was he? What was it, like two years ago? About two, almost three already? Like 10. Yeah, yeah. Breaking 10. Damn. Yeah. It's been a minute. <sighs> Fatherhood. 2021? About. Two? 22. 22. 22? Yeah. Yeah, time flies. <laughs> Fuck. All right. So <laughs> your fatherhood transition from having a young, innocent little boy. To having a, <laughs> to, to a fucking preteen, to a yeah, now he's, like pre-teen. Now he's like pushing the limits. He's like, yeah, man, thinking he's bold. He's like trying to find his way in the world. So it's it's different, man. Where I feel like up until boys are like eleven or twelve, they're just like you're the biggest fan. And then after that, it's like they're trying to find like their own way. You're not as cool anymore. You're not like you're not like. The superhero in their life anymore Ooh. after like twelve. Yeah. I still well, have one kissing him. No, yeah, 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 all day long, bro. <laughs> and like behind closed doors, like yeah, he'll eat it up, dude. But in front of his friends or like anything else, is like he's too cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think parenthood is is amazing. It and is. Your your boy dad and a girl dad. Yeah, hold. Oh, that's a whole different like. <laughs> My boy been wearing tutus. Yeah, you'll see me uh, tutu practice. Yeah. <laughs> wait, what? Yeah, yeah, is there yeah, something? Yeah. Is there something we gotta know? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. You, you've so, been wearing tutus? Yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> he said no, no, no. All right, so I'll for, pay for that. I'll pay to yeah, see yeah, Drake. Yeah, that's that's tutu, premium bro. content. That's uh, premium content. So, so for people to understand, yeah, and if you're parents, you're gonna understand this. For our kids, we do everything. And we do the most, whether it's the funniest, whether the, it's the most embarrassing thing for our kids to make them smile and be a part of their life, we do it. Mr. Dre, he's a business owner, first and foremost. He's an entrepreneur from the moment I met him until even now. 
But I think out of all the things he is and just giving him his own flowers <laughs> is he is an amazing dad. And I think one of the biggest things that I've taken from Dre himself, not just because you're here because, I mean, you're – Never here anyway. <laughs> is well, I just met him. Right. It's just he shows up for his clients and for his audience <laughs> and to give game to everybody. But what he does far most best than anything else is he shows up for his kids. Whether it's his teenage son, whether it's his little girl who sees him as a superhero and as the king. I think that's the one thing I respect Dre out of the most is he's a very kind-hearted man, but he's a very kind-hearted father. And I take that from you, bro. <laughs> that's a shot, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah. being a parent and a business owner is like it's two, two different worlds colliding as one. But it's like business is always going to be there. That's why I was tripping out with uh, Homegirl. What was her name? On the day, though. Yeah. Tripping out where I was like, she was like, yeah, my mom wanted to make this decision and all this stuff. Where I was tripping out because I was like, damn, like I'm her mom. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so I was like, I'm I'm the parent wanting to make all these decisions and like, it's life altering. Yeah. It's, it's not only for you, but it's for your kids, for the grandkids, and like everything down. But um, yeah, it's crazy, man. Like, it, it's you make all these risks, and you don't know what's on the other side of these risks. But it's like you, you, you try to calculate them as much as possible, but like you really don't know the outcome. Yeah. And so that's kind of like where we're at now, and trying to make the most of it. You know, being a entrepreneur. So how do you find the balance between being a dad and being there's, an entrepreneur? There's zero balance, dude. Like sometimes it's more family, sometimes it's more work. Like there's there's no balance, man. If if anybody tells you there's there's like a work life balance, there's not, dude. It's just sometimes, like, if you're running a business, sometimes you gotta like sacrifice family to work on business, mm. and then you have to work on business to sacrifice family. It's like you're going back and forth, and it's just calculated risk. Like, I I feel like you really have to break down like what needs to happen right now, and if family. Family has to take the risk, then family has to take the risk, you know. But I feel like that's really what makes a difference between like a company being great than being like everybody else struggling, mediocre, and everything else. Yeah, one hundred percent. How do you choose? What, <laughs> how do you choose what to prioritize though? Because it must be difficult, right? Yeah, it's like do I focus yeah, on my business dude, or I so focus on my it's child? Like, I I don't want to make it all about money, but. Money brings a lot of things. Money brings happiness. Okay. Money brings opportunities. Money brings vacations. Money brings time off. Money brings a lot of things. And so not to put money above family, but sometimes it's just you You just really have to sit down and calculate, like, how long do I have to prioritize this business before I can prioritize my family? Do you and, feel like as a father, like, you have to – provide like be the provider yeah 100 percent. i think as a man in whole you you see yourself as like the provider of your family yeah and sometimes it's hard man like like if you do have a good girl by your side it's like i don't know if you guys see those memes it's like or do you believe in a 50 50 relationship yeah <laughs> and so I I don't think I don't think I believe in a 50-50 relationship. I think it, I believe in a relationship where it's like sometimes you got it all going on and sometimes the other person has it all going on, right? And so it's kind of like <laughs> like who do you guys lean on, you know? Yeah. I think that's the importance of a partnership, but it, it's hard. Sometimes you got to prioritize the business and sometimes you have to like prioritize the the family life. I think at the same time, like, when... Oh, shit, pest control still active. <laughs> <laughs> I think when, when you prioritize your business, you end up losing. And it's because you're you're trying to balance that. If How you said, if I show attention to my business, I'm losing out on family time, I'm losing out on moments, I'm losing out on feelings. If I'm trying to tap into my my feeling side i really can because i know this side of my of my life i can't have feelings because it's very brutal and i have to find that 
medium of, okay, I need to shut it off right now, or at least for a couple hours. And as men, again, as women, I know you guys take a lot, Mm -hmm. and I'm glad we have you on. But as men, it's like, who comes to help us and who comes to save us when we need to be there and show up and be present and consider everybody else's feelings when, fuck, it's been months since I've considered my own. So I, I know that that part is hard, and I know the last time we seen you show was just a very long time. Very <laughs> it's been about time. a year, right? It's been about a year. <laughs> it's been about a year since I met this guy. It, I, and, like, I'm sorry to bring it up, but, like, we seen each other when – you were in a tough spot. I was in a tough spot, and we're, we're both like, bro, I've been gone for a while. I've been checked out. It's been hard, and it's been – I don't think anybody at this point understands, but I need to keep going. Yeah, man. I don't I don't think – I think I, I got out of the space of, like, wanting to people to understand me, and it's just like, okay, this is the, direct, the direction I'm going in – like, who understands, understands, who doesn't, does it. Like, yeah. you have to split the two, and you can't make everybody happy, but it's different, bro. If you are talking to somebody who who is in, like, um, like a employee mind space, they'll understand of, like, you taking, like, the safe route. Oh, yeah. But if you are talking to somebody in the entrepreneur like realm of it they're gonna sound like yeah bro sacrifice all this shit to make the greater good you know what's worst case i can always go back worst case is i can always go back to doing like an employee job or like five bro nine to five or fucking whatever else bro it's like unless you're talking to somebody in like a uh entrepreneur aspect they (laughs) it's just so hard for like for somebody to understand me yeah, it's like, a different I mean, mindset yeah, for like, sure. You it's, said it previous, like if you were to quit, like who's gonna who's gonna come and get you? Yeah. Like quien más? Yeah, it and I think it it gets to like a different level because, like you said, employee life and you know family life is one thing, but when you have to push yourself, yeah. and if you don't see it through, your business is not gonna see it through. Your family's not gonna see it through. Who's it, pushing you through? It it dominoes. Who's pushing you through? Yeah, that's like if it's not you. Then who else? Nobody. Nobody's going to. Nobody's holding you accountable. Exactly. It's like you come up with all these excuses on like, oh, like I was down and out the last two weeks. Fucking whatever, bro. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it like, doesn't it really matter. comes down to like who's holding you accountable. It's like you can come up with X, Y, Z, 10,000 excuses on why you couldn't get to where you, you should have this week. But it's really on you. Right? Mm-hmm. If you don't get yourself excuses, out of bed. Excuses do not matter. Yeah, if you don't get yourself out of bed, you don't go and, and start moving or start working on your business. Even if today was hard and you failed, ain't no one going to come and fix it for you. You know, you can come and tell your friends, ah, oh, dude, today I had a bad day. What are your friends going to say? Ah, right, bro, it's all right. Next time. Bro, that sucks. You'll do better yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how old are you You'll guys? do better tomorrow. I'm 30. I'm 34. I'm 28. What the fuck, Memo? When? <laughs> <laughs> when he you ages, he ages like you. Like you. See, he you would know, like but you don't months. talk to me. Yeah. 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 How old are you? I'm 28. You're how old are you? You're too cool. You're too it, cool. Does, it doesn't matter. Dre, the how old are you? Dre, how old are you? 32. The <laughs> sooner, <laughs> when, sooner when you can realize that nobody is coming to save you, the better. Because you can get yourself out of any fucking situation like you you are the only person that's gonna save you from this life like if you want to do better you can do better there's it, it's it, it all comes down to information yep. right mm-hmm. it doesn't matter what you're trying to do do you have the information like, this is like two reasons to why you're not doing well either you don't have the information to do better or you don't want to find the information to do better yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, that's like it's because to to have work and go through all the ups and downs and all the the roller coaster of emotions. People don't want to realize it, and it, and it's very fucking hard. Yeah, and people the, will find any excuse to be like, "Oh, I don't have the right tools. Yeah, I don't have the right like, people. Yeah, sure. Like okay. it's all are you, excuses. Are you done with the excuses? I don't, have, I don't have. I don't know how to do it. Let's move forward. Yeah, because the first step is. Getting all these fucking excuses out and being like, okay, I'm done. 
I'm done with my excuses. Okay, cool. So when needs to happen next. You know what I'm saying? All right, so it my, doesn't matter if it's your fault, his fault, her yeah. fault, anybody else's fault. It's like, okay, we got it. It's their fault. This shit, where we are, we're fucking whoever said we are. But what's going to happen next? Yeah. Right? Exactly. Because there's a way out. There's, there's, there's always, always a way it, out. There's always. always more work to be done. It's just, it's either you haven't been doing it. Doing it long enough, or you just haven't been doing it good enough. <laughs> or you just got to figure out, like, you know, you might not know exactly what you're doing or how the hell you're going to get through it, but the first step is to try. Okay, so let, let, let's bring up a, a big topic, and it's it's a very important one, Go that when going through this journey, you're going to lose people along the way. So my question are you guys willing to lose people along the way on this journey? And are you okay with it? I think the yeah. first step is realizing or accepting what your journey is, right? Like, where do you want to get to? Yeah, what's your overall goal? Which yeah. And goal? then... Yeah. Are you okay with losing people? Me? Yeah. I think everybody is here on this earth to get to a certain place. Some people are going to be with you for a long time. Some people are going to be for you with you for a short time, right? So, I'm I am one thousand percent okay with somebody being with me for a short amount of time versus a long amount of time. It's just I I just believe we're all here for a certain amount of time or a certain amount of purpose, uh, <laughs> and everything in between. Yeah. So, it's just. Like, with you guys, bro. So, I was like, I, I fuck with you guys super fucking heavy. But if you guys stop fucking with me tomorrow, I'm like, damn. So, they were only with me in my life for a short amount of time. Yeah. Like, that's how I would see it. I would have been like, what the fuck, Dusko, Pepe, <laughs> fucking Jose. I'd just be like, yo, we were only meant to be with each other for a short amount of time. Yeah. yeah. Right? To get to this next step or what the fuck ever. But I think a lot of people get it fucked up because they're like, oh, Nobody fucks with me. Oh, this person doesn't fuck with me. It's like, yeah, they weren't meant to be. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I was going to say, like, if I'm okay with losing people. Same. But if you're going to bring down my energy, like, trust me, I don't need you. Like, I only need to be surrounded by the people who help me get to the goal that I want to get to. Are you going to back me up? Are you going to support me? Like, yeah, of course. My, like, si me vas a estorbar, mejor a este like, what's your role yeah, in playing in my life? Exactly. You know like, if I mean? you don't bring out the, not saying that you have to bring out the best in me, but if you don't bring out something positive in me, like, yeah. then trust me, get I'll out of my you. way. Get the fuck out of my way. Get well, out like, of my way. Like, it's cool. And that's like, okay. Yeah, like, it's cool. It we can have fun. Let's go out. Let's yeah. do our thing. Let's be normal. But when it comes to, like, yo, it's better our fucking situation. Yeah. If it's a shitty situation and you're like, nah, not the time. Like, if you're going to bring me down, then get you. out my way. You know? yeah, and, and, and you have people that are going to suck everything out of you. They're just going to take from you. Take your time. Yeah. Take your energy. You know, bring you down. Hold you back. Hey, bro, I think we should. Nah, not right now. Tomorrow. It's like, no, bro. It's it, That's not how this works. Like, time go, time waits for nobody. And everybody it knows this. Mm -hmm. Like, today I met up with uh, one of my high school coaches. You know, he's an older gentleman. And I was like, yo, like, how you been? I know you just went to Australia. He's like, I realized something this last month. All my idols have passed away. And I realized that time is going. So if I don't travel and if I don't do what I was wanting to do my whole life, I'm never going to do it. He's like, I paid for a trip that me and my wife had talked about 25 years ago. We were married. Unfortunately, she's not here. And here I am. Next year, I go on that trip, and I can't wait for it. He's like, after that is done, I completed everything I needed. What else do I do? And I'm like, he's like, you're going to learn that soon. Time waits for nobody. I'm like, it's for nobody. No, I, I, I know, but, you know, it's, it's you got to go through experiences first. Yes. And you got to have like-minded people, and you got to have a mentality that, it's unbreakable. Yes, you're going to stumble and you're going to trip every now and then. But when you wake up and you're like, no, I need to. And I need to get going. And I need to move. Who's going to take that from you? You can teach a skill set to anybody. But to teach drive, to teach passion, to teach discipline, discipline to anybody, 
No. No. It, it's it's too hard. It's hard. And I don't think I have the time to do that. It's either you have it and you want to build it or, or, you don't. or you don't. And I'll find people that do want to fucking build with me, you know? Or have a great life. I'll see you. Yeah. I love you. I appreciate you. But, you know, it's, it's how you're saying. No hard feelings. Yeah, of course. I, I, I can't hate you and I can't resent you. Just maybe this just wasn't our time. It yeah. is what it is. You know, it, it, it it's it's hard to get to the point that we're in right now. And I know people are gonna, oh well, it's easier said than done. Yes, it is, but you gotta you gotta be willing to go through that shit first. When did you realize you were cool with losing people? <laughs> early on. <laughs> oh, early he on. Said, he said, talk about it. Nah, he said early on. That's <laughs> wild though. Early on, just because like. I when when I first started noticing people talking, I think, I think would, I first started noticing people talking shit, and they'd be like, "Oh, you're too good. Oh, you got a following." Like it was it was the subtle jokes that made me realize that I was like, "Oh shit, this is not a joke. Yeah. Like this is how you really feel." Yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, I think, in early on, it was people like, "Oh, you got a following. You think you're too good," and I was like, "What?" Yeah, I, I don't care about this following. You know? Yeah, in um, comments, likes, all that other shit. So, I I just come to realize like social media is not real life, man. Like you can be you can be somebody on social media, but you can be a a really like real piece of shit person in real life. And um, I think like very early on, I found the disconnection between the two where I can see somebody with a big following and be like, bro, you're a piece of shit person. Like I do not care about you. I won't support you. Like I won't like do, do your own shit over there or whatever. Right. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, man, but early on, I feel like social media is like the new powerhouse with business and people are very concerned with like, the the views the likes and everything else man it was like like that's the it, it's crazy to say but that's the new currency man yeah. that's the new currency on social media is attention yeah. so it's like are you pulling attention okay cool now you're important if you're not pulling yeah. attention you're not important but it's yeah. just like what the fuck I'm the same person behind yeah. behind yeah, the social media yeah and I think for a lot of people to understand <laughs> and put it in perspective. You can have a lot of followers. You can have a big audience. You can be liked by a lot of people on social media. But truth of the matter is, not a lot of them have it the way you think they have it. Oh, facts. Mm-mm. Not a lot of them are cool the way they you think they are very Most nice. Most people put cool. up a front. Put I up mean, a front. I think we've all experienced it, right? Going to events and shit. Yeah. Where we're like, oh, dude, I'm so I'm so excited to see this person. And then you're there. And you see the person, and yeah, it's like, and you're like, you're not the person I know. You're such a piece of shit. Yeah. Like, when you're there, you're just like, dude, I'm so fucking disappointed because yeah. you look like this in social media, but in person, you're a completely different person. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's just letting people drain us. Like, I'm not, I'm not willing to sacrifice and put up my piece up for debate just to make X, Y, and Z person happy. Or just to be cool with X, Y, and Z because, oh, they got this. No, no, no. I I am fucking very sorry. I think that's where we're at. If we don't fuck with you, we don't fuck with you. Yeah, like, I'm very sorry, but I'm not sorry. I can't fuck with you because I know we don't align and it's okay. We won't cross. Que te vaya bien. Good luck to you. But I'm okay. It's not that serious. And I think it's, 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 it's harder for girls or it happens a lot more common in girls to actually be noticed where, like, guys, I think when guys know we don't fuck with each other, is well, we know it. <laughs> right away. Like, yeah. right away, we're just like. I knew Dre didn't fuck with me, like, right off the bat. He's like, this. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, he's looking at me like this. But with girls, it's like, oh, my God, you look so I... good. They turn around and <laughs> that motherfucker. Fucking bitch. <laughs> I didn't say it. I but no, 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 no. But I get you because I feel like girls can be more catty and just more emotional but they also hide it better and it's just like oh my god personally i i feel like i get vibes from people and i'm like me vale madre lo que me digas like i already can already tell like i don't fuck with like i just don't like your energy well, and stuff like okay. that huh well, that's, that's okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meet me outside 
And yeah, no, I think for for women, it's it, it can be like a different route that they oh. take on how they approach things. But for me personally, like I don't care really who you are or what you do. Like if I don't vibe with you, I don't vibe with you, and that's and that's about it. Like I'm not gonna fake the funk. I'm not gonna be mean. But like you know, funk, keep my distance. I ain't gonna fake the funk. I'm not gonna fake the funk. Yeah, no, course. no, no. Because like at the end of the day, like I'm, you know, me quiero meter en pedos. No, same. Yeah. And I would just rather just not. And it's just easier not to. It, it's okay. Like your feelings and your ego might get hurt when people don't fuck with you, but it, it, it's gonna be okay. You don't have to you'll show nobody. Right. You get over it. You'll be, okay. you'll be all right. Get over it. Yeah, yeah. no. You no. cry and yourself then you'll to sleep, that you but then hey. at the end of the day, the day the ends. And at the end of the day, it's not that serious. Hay algo aquí. Hay algo aquí. Look, and and I know Dre can agree with me, and I know it's coming from just a shit I think that Dre we've talked about. Dre wants to say about. something. Say it with a chest, it's, right? He wants it's to say shit something. That, that we've talked about. Just say it. I may not be for you, and that's fucking okay. Whatever story you want to <laughs> tell people, <laughs> whatever story you want to tell well, yeah, people, yeah, bitch, tell them. <laughs> tell them, man. Tell them, bro. He, what has he told you? I don't fuck with no, Pepe. No, I don't like. I think I think it's just this part, and it just it it's gonna tie in with everybody. I could be the villain in your story, whoever you want to tell, and that is very okay. I'm always gonna know the truth. You're gonna know it, and I don't need to I don't need to talk about it. No. I'm not for you. I won't never be for you. I, we don't need to be cool, but hey, let us be who we are. You be who you are. And let's go our separate ways. It's the world is too big to be a, I was gonna to say, mate, like <laughs> I was gonna say there is so many people on this world que si no te llevas bien con una persona, like yeah. you're gonna be okay and you'll find people that you do get along with. Like and then, honestly, speaking bad about on somebody's name, it takes too much energy. It does. And I'm it's sorry because I don't got that much. <laughs> I don't need to. It's exhausting and draining. Yeah. Worry about yourself. Control yourself. Better yourself. Pray for yourself. And pray for whoever you need to. But Why is Dre laughing over there? <laughs> I feel like there's something. <laughs> Dre's just <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I was waiting for a whole bunch to come up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. This is just funny over there, huh? Go ahead. Just go. <laughs> And I think with that one, we take a break. After hours. <laughs> now, shout out from our sponsor. This episode was brought to you by ShopSegura.com, a Western fashion boutique where you can find all your latest and greatest cowgirl needs, from modern to chic to classic timeless looks. Be sure to check out ShopSegura.com and use code ATTL at checkout. Now, let's get back into it. All right. So, Ooh, vanilla pink? It, as it's been stated before, you know who's really... Your friend, your partner, in two situations. Same. To, whether you go to jail or you end up in the hospital. Luckily, unlucky, I have a friend that has been in one of those things. Why are you laughing? And the only reason I want to bring him up, I want to call him is because of experience. <laughs> Again, we can only talk about experience, and I've never been in either one of those. Neither have you I. You arrested? You have? Can we talk How about was that? that? Do you it recommend like, it? It was like juvenile shit. Oh, uh, oh shit. You're a bad but, boy. But still. No. But still. He's like 10 out of 10. Don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 would not recommend robbing anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, Thank you my, for that. My juvenile shit, bro, is... I'm a child of God, so you know what I'm saying. Lunch it's not me. Let, me. let me just say it's not me now. <laughs> <laughs> the handcuffs. <laughs> You've been handcuffed too? That's that's a menace to society. Yeah. <laughs> Jose, Jose looks like he about to fight somebody right now. Right, this one has to be a wait. With friends like this, you don't need enemies at all. <laughs> With friends like this, same. You don't answer. Wait, I'm gonna wait, sock wait, this one. Wait, I thought I was a child of God around children of God. This is not gonna answer. I get it though. Yo, yo. What's good? Que onda? Chupame el huevo. <laughs> What's good? Hey, really so quick. So those? we're obviously we're obviously recording right now. Uh, you took a little trip, you know, up north for for a little while. Please, can you share with us what 
before you went in, how many friendships, relationships did you have before going in? Um, well, it depends how you want to see it. I mean, it depends what you want to call a friendship. I mean, I think before, as you put it, before I went up north, you have friendships and it's with you call a friendship you consider your friendships are a little bit more vague mm. versus now that <clears throat> now that I'm out I see friendships and it's it's th- the word means a lot more yeah now how many like how many friends did you have before or acquaintances did you have before going in my phone wouldn't stop my phone wouldn't stop it was constant phone calls it was constant messages I think the biggest key is that it's what can you give to people? What 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 are you giving them? How can they use you? That's what it comes down to. That's what friendships. I think that's what that that's the the word friendship nowadays and yeah, in, in this world that we live in versus before it was taken it was taken very serious. <laughs> um, you know now, you know. At your birthday party, uh, who? How many people did you have there? Oh man, at least 150, 200 people. When you took the trip, how many people visited you and talked to you? Uh, just I had only out of all those friends, I only had one one actual friend that uh, took a trip up there to see me. But so your mentality coming out now that you've been out for a couple months, how do you value friendships and relationships? Well, like I said, I just took a different turn. You know, friends are, it, it's a totally different meaning. And I'm and I, it's probably going to sound harsh, but I don't feel like I have friends anymore. I don't feel like I have best friends. I don't really use that word anymore. I feel like I have people I know. I have acquaintances. And the very, very few, you know, I... I I could count them in one hand and, you know, I'm still going to have maybe four fingers left over. I just call them brothers and, and that's what it comes down to. There's no, there's no more friends. I mean, that's my mentality now that I've been out, yeah. um, you know, and it's just a sad truth. It's, it's like I said, when you, you know, look over to your right or you look over to your left and you're in there and all you have is four walls to really reflect on. At, at the end of the day, you only have yourself. You don't have anybody else. Es una verga bien parada, vale. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, big guy, for, for answering this late. All right, no problem, man. Take right. care. Ahí estamos. Later, brother. That's crazy. Bro, like that's how it is, bro. Everybody, everybody down for you until it uh, comes down to be down for you. <laughs> yeah, nah. I think, I think that's what, like, a lot of people need to understand and realize, and I think that's where our... The momentum is right now is what can you do for me? What can I get out of you? And that's what I value at. Instead of being like, yo, I fuck with who you are. I believe in you. How can I help you? Instead of it turns into, well, how can you help me? I'll help you, but how can you help me? And are you referring to like like tangible things? Are you like emotionally what are you looking for when you say, what can I get from you and what I, can you get from me? I specifically look for emotional. Tangible, we can get it. I can get it myself. Yeah, I'll find a way. Mm-hmm. I'll find a way. Like, we are all human. We can all work. We all have our own bank account. If I wanted it, I'll go get it. I'm looking for the ones that are going to be there, like my guy just said, that are going to be there when shit is not there. Like, the people that are sitting here with us, it's when there was nothing to offer. There's not much. I couldn't give you more than what this was. Now it's like, hey, and it's as simple as, yo, I got I got the tab today. Don't worry about it. Oh, let's go to Chipotle. You want double steak? Get the double steak. Got oh, that's you. Crazy. I got, got you. you. That's when you that's know. Right you want the large chips? Get the large chips. You want guac? You want guac? That's an extra Scoop charge. Scoop it on, Don't baby. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry you about it. Mo- you got money. <laughs> you got money. <laughs> I told you, I got money. 
But it, it's just like the simple things. And I'll put it this way. <laughs> My guys, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I know Look, I'll put it this way. <laughs> you know we're going to hear that shit, bro. Look, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Look, I'll put it this way. My people that are here... If I have ten dollars in my bank account, nine dollars are yours. I'll stay with one. <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing, <laughs> bro? I was saying, I was saying, bro, you, you know we that shit, bro. <laughs> nah, I heard it too. No, the bro, let it rip. We said let it rip. <laughs> then it that bet. <laughs> it was a steak. It was a steak. It was that double steak, huh? Is that, oh, is that double double buzz ball, huh? All right, so I need you guys to <laughs> react. All Tell right. me your <laughs> whatever comes to mind first. All right. Oh, okay, okay. All right. All right. We had a lot of people share their their, <laughs> their stories. Bring it. They're pretty Give fucked up. Give me the up, cheese, bro. man. They're pretty fucked up. I was married for thirteen years. Well, I saw he that cheated one. and had a child. The child was six months when I found out. Forgave him. I really wanted my my marriage to work. Finally, he got caught again. This time, two women <laughs> pregnant at the same time. That was the end of my marriage. Oh, fuck so this fertile. guy had three, like three kids total. <laughs> I'm not fucking fertile. Damn. <laughs> Dang, girl. But she yeah. really. <laughs> but Those God, honey packs don't hit different. I get that one, one of them, bro. You about to be broke. That's you about crazy. To be broke. As a girl, bro, you're a real one if you're staying for that. I long, was gonna but... say, homegirl, be está perdonando, pero de más. Fuck. I would, and, and you know, if you would have stopped at the, you know, he had to fuck up one time. Great. I would have been like, all right, yeah. I, right. I see it. I it, see it. Hey. We get it, boy. This was, this one was golden sand one for the three P. Yeah, <laughs> dude. That's too much. Nah, hey, girl. Bro, at you, this point, you're going to jail, <laughs> my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl, it's not worth it. I don't think. I don't think it's worth it. All right, you're gonna. I'm gonna. It's gonna hurt feelings right now. Heard him. Someone confess their what they went through in a breakup. Mm-hmm. It's, I noticed that I hate you, but I love you. I hate what you gave me wasn't love like I thought. It was lust. It was the idea of, of me to you thinking I was enough knowing I wasn't. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> that that sounds a little confusing. Your brain hurts too, huh? But if you feel uh, in love, it's just the heart be, yeah, the brain be hurting. Break, break it down for me. Yeah. Of well, course. the second part to that, it said, but hey, I see you doing good and all. Wish you, I wish you to wish that I, I find love even if you see me as a villain when you knew I was never that in your life. I'm going to need some English classes. Because <laughs> I can't fucking process. I mean, I was processing like the first line, honestly. <laughs> oh, but then after so that, I'm like, I'm the, me, the, the process. It was a lot. It was, it was a lot. Right but but whoever, whoever that was. All I can say, he's not the one. I, find, I, hope, I don't think he's the I one. I hope you find peace. Yeah, I, I, I think I about it. we have other things to focus on. All right, so I think this one's going to be kind of like a little sideways. It's a little sideways. It, it, it may happen, because I, I, I'm sure it does. My ex and I broke up six months in because his dad did not want him to date out of his race. He was black. I'm half white, half Mexican. Hmm. And throughout the relationship his dad didn't like me because he thought we were too close i didn't want people thinking we were together he was my first and only so they were together they were together but they didn't want the dad to figure like no well why would she hide it i was gonna say like why the fuck are you ashamed of uh, being with somebody well, because the parent the dad doesn't accept the dad didn't approve i i no, approve. I, get, I get that the dad doesn't approve bro, but it's like at the end of the day you're not with a dad you're with the person <laughs> It I is. mean, I feel like at a, to a certain point, you got to, like, make your own decisions. And, like, like you yo, have to decide. Mom, Dad, I like this motherfucker. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I, get it together. I mean, get your shit together. A new generation, bro, it's like you don't give a fuck what anybody else thinks other than yourself. Yeah. Like, it's like. But you like know what? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's keep I like real, this like, motherfucker, bro. Dude, what but the fuck? It's like, it, it's either you like it or, or nobody else don't, like. But it doesn't was, was, matter, bro. Just, but maybe it, he was it, looking for the respect of his dad. You know, maybe the approval. Mm, I don't know. Like, no. there's there's some people like that that are like, if you if my mom doesn't approve, if my dad doesn't approve, so now, question, sorry. If your dad or mom didn't approve of your significant other, would you <laughs> dump that person? Um. Well, it depends. It okay. if it was like my mom, who I'm like 
this with. Okay. I really value her opinion. Okay. And I really, like, she she always looks out for the best yeah. Yeah. in me. And so there's maybe I would, like, consider and be like, maybe there's something I don't see. Let's Porque uno just, cuando está enamorado, ciego está. Let's say their only negative or, like, the only thing they had against that person was a race. Right? Nah. If it's like, just ma, for no the race, man. no. Uh, ma, no. But if it's for like a logical reason, you know, okay. But like, if yeah, it's yeah. for ra- like, it's if it's race, race was no. Like, let's like, let's grow up. Come on. Come on. Let's throw in the big question. Why do you think people break up? It's a lot of factors. A lot of reasons. Throw them out. Trust. Trust. Goals. Communication. Communication is is hard. Communication is a huge thing. Did you hear? Race. <laughs> Fucking Dre looks like the type, honestly. <laughs> he said, you guys race. Took, you guys took all the good shit already. He, you took all the good shit. Uh, I knew it. I had a feeling. Age? Well, <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I was, 34, I was 34 year old Dino, like, too. Religion. <laughs> Latino. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 34, 34 yeah. year old Dino, love too. Fucking 47. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> Someone said, "When they don't see the wrong in what they are doing, <laughs> yeah, honestly, give them yeah. pass, nigga. <laughs> Those motherfuckers be blind. I'm so lost. <laughs> You never know what people are going through. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> and I was a buzz one, huh? <laughs> I was going to say, those came in jacks. <laughs> hey, this is we'll the after hour we'll session. cut that out. Honestly. The after Jose, hour session. Cut the plane out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Está bien, güey. Está bien. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> that was a good juice go out. <laughs> the, whole, the whole episode. <laughs> nah, some, all right. Someone else said, why did I leave? They stopped valuing me and doing things they once did. What? Costumbre. Hey, what? They, <laughs> hey, why? <laughs> hey, what? Why did I leave? They stopped valuing me and doing things that they once did. Why did I leave? Dot, dot, dot. Or when I left, they started doing? No. No, why she's like they... saying, why did I leave? They stopped doing, they stopped valuing and yeah. doing and things. They, that like, they started doing certain, like. Like, they no. stopped doing. The small little details. The little details whether it was, like, yeah. buying flowers, opening the door, taking them on dates, leading. They started doing those things. Now that. They get comfortable. They're all together. They get comfortable. I think that that's very common. In yeah. rela- like in a lot of relationships that people like forget how to date and like once you have that person once you like, have it and you're, you're comfortable yeah. and it's like ah they're not gonna go anywhere <laughs> <laughs> think again <laughs> <sucka. laughs> she said I still need the date I still, I still need, need the, the dates I still need <laughs> I still need you to keep me dates. I'm a Leo I need attention <laughs> can't relate I'm a Capricorn fuck off <laughs> fuck off What's up, brother? Capricorns. What's up? Capricorns, brother. (laughs) Disco, grow up, bitch. This is your podcast. Get it together, bro. Scorpio shit. (laughs) All all of a sudden, you you take the botas off, you don't have... What's Dre? What's Dre? Capricorn. Are you? Are you Capricorn? Wait, what? Capricorn, brother. Capricorn, brother. January? 18th, brother. Third. <laughs> Third, brother. Brother. <laughs> brother. Hey, you borderline Sagittarius. <laughs> I don't I even know. I don't even know that's the logical signs. I'm just joking. There's some shit before that. There's like borderline. This is definitely the a cuss. test of life after hours. <laughs> because I'm about brother. to. Brother. <laughs> brother. Yes, brother. I know we didn't get along for a reason, brother. <laughs> yeah. Because you're on. Because I'm on the cusp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He on, he on the cusp. What's accent, dude? He on the cusp of the brotherhood. I'm on the cusp of the brotherhood. <laughs> Just go. Okay. So back to it, man. So, uh. 
That was funny. <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> okay, so what would your mother say about this? <laughs> What would your mother say about you being on a podcast at 1, p- 1 a.m. at night? What would your mom say about being a crap record? <laughs> Brother. On a, on a June Brother. night. Brother. At, at 1 a.m. at night. Brother. 1 a.m. at night. <laughs> would she ask if you're getting twisted on the twisted tees? <laughs> the twisted tees be twisted? What the fuck? No, the twisted tees are twisted. twisted. I'm, I'm done drinking, bro. I'm fucking done drinking. <laughs> We're all going to the gym tomorrow. It was eight in the morning. Think for yourself. I'm We're all gonna SPD tomorrow morning. <laughs> if you guys don't know what that shit is, it's squat, bench, deadlift. <laughs> no, no, no. We're all gonna go on our Forrest our fucking Gump. maxes. We're all gonna go on our Forrest Gump run with Jack. Forrest Jack. Gump mode She's gonna activated. Run Forrest Gump. Are you going runs? I just kept running. Ooh, I don't know. I'm running. Yeah. Running. And running. I ain't never stopped running. I'm <laughs> gonna Algo leve. Miles, five miles. I got today, tomorrow, tomorrow. When I get four, we got big shrimp, small shrimp, <laughs> little shrimp. Hot oh, shrimp. Jose, shrimp. edit that out. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> it's never, you know. Before I told him, I was like, people in the comments are like, oh, y'all are Rialto? <laughs> <laughs> y'all are San Bernardino? All, shrimp, all, sh- all shrimps matter what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Who got, who got the shrimp? We I, the who, he said he. Had a shrimp. What? I th- I think this podcast is coming to a Some great Some rose shrimp. What? I think it's been great. I think it's been. It's a wrap. It's been a lot. It's been a good 45 minutes, 48 minutes. Has it been? No way, man. Yeah, it has. It's been. Yeah. Wait, no way. 50 minutes? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. It's been, it's been insane. That's crazy. It really? yeah. It's Ni after se hours. Se this is ATTL af- after hours. Ni se sintio. Oh, ni se sintio. Honestly, I'm happy. You're good? You chilling? I found you. I was no doubt. Start it over, fool. Start it over. Start it over. Start it over. You don't even know that button. Don't. Turn the fuck. There's like 10,000 buttons on here. No. Valiendo. Cut. <laughs> cut, 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 cut. All right, Jay. Last yeah. message to the people, Jay. Just do the hard work. You will find success <laughs> in the hard work. There Zero go, to a hundred, real quick. There you go, brother. <laughs> For real. That and that was like. <laughs> I know. I know. I was inspired. Literally. Was literally. I was, I was like, wait, wait, wait. That was actually like really good. <laughs> cool. Pepe's cool. business coming One more soon. escort by tomorrow. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Escort for LLC. Wait, Dre, wait. Drex Press. Out. Wait, we got to get their, their last message. Bro, I'm trying to get a fucking sombrero. <laughs> I'm trying to get a bota. He said I want a horse. Sombrero, bota, like some shit tomorrow. I think I think Gage will be very happy if you buy him a horse. (laughs) Can we get on the podcast? Are you gonna buy him a horse? (laughs) (laughs) Bitch, (laughs) if y'all get him a fucking Oculus, (laughs) 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 we'll fit that shit in. We'll fit it in. Oh my god. Fuck this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's your right, boy. Guys. It's your okay. boy. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Dre the boys are boys. Walked out of the podcast. Oh my god. See what happened. You know that that's oh in, god, it's insane, bro. It's insane when people walk out of the podcast. That's crazy. That's crazy. First we time I've seen something like that in my first life. It's professional. It's, no, it's, it's all just, professional. Unprofessional. Whoever like, that, what the you fuck? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna put them on. <laughs> Cut water. My the fridge. <laughs> My casa's tu casa. The key? What? I thought he was gonna do the the uh, hooked. Well, do you guys have a? We still rolling? I, we're still <laughs> rolling. Yeah, yeah. We got like eight minutes left. Are we chilling? Oh man. We chilling? How you Did... feeling, Dusk? I'm feeling good. Yeah. I think 
<laughs> I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm she twisting. Nah, I think uh, I mean to put it into perspective, like just finding that funk back in. Like it's been a while. It's been a cool little minute of being like, uh, we're recording today. Been a little funk, but I think. T- <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so why were you in a funk? That's what I want to know. Why were you in a funk? <laughs> Shut the fuck up and answer the question, bitch. Like, why are we in a work? Why are we in a fun? We're gonna gonna be done. I'll be back. Short shorts. (laughs) We're still recording, fool. Oh shit. Into the chat. Into the into the chat. Climb in, Jack. Game in, Jack. (laughs) So why have you been a funk? How? Why have you been in a funk? You good? Yeah. Why? Why you been in a funk? That's what we want to know, right? The sound of love right there. The sound of... The sound of peace. I don't know about that one. <laughs> He's like, that's a mating call. <laughs> He's calling you disco? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, looking at me like that. <laughs> They're a toast. <laughs> to life. A toast to life. <laughs> love is love. Yeah. 2024. Nah. Let's go. Hey, what are we on? Uh, nothing. We're pretty much done. You walked out. We're done here, bro. It's crazy. He said what? <laughs> it's not done until Jose says it's done. <laughs> till he says cut. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. Oh, we still got, oh, shit. Oh, we still got six, six minutes. minutes. Six minutes. All right. Top here. It Top it up, Paco. I think, honestly... I just been in. It was a funk of how I think we talked about it at the beginning and off camera. Is this everybody gets burned out? There's always a burnout, you know. When uh, traveling definitely was was a burnout. Um, and I think when you go for so long doing the same business, doing the same your same goal, trying to work on it. It's just you you hit a wall. You're like, damn, get mas, get mas para hacer para que siga, or to grow, or to get that little little piece of grace. So once we got to the little piece of grace, we're just traveling. You know, thank God that we were able to do it. It was more of a, oh man, we need a break. Like this this life came fast, and oh my God, it got us tired out. But you know it. I think just being in a in our own place with the pe- people that are very amazing, it's like, all right, cool. This is what it's about, finding that funk right back. So you feeling better now? I'm having fun again. Yeah? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. What made it fun? It's just consistency, honestly. I think uh, Jim Joel said it pretty good. He's like, when you don't feel motivated, stay consistent. Just your, keep. Your consistency is going to get you motivated. So, as a famous fish once said, just keep swimming. Famous fish. Just keep swimming. swimming. You know, keep it going. I mean, get get as I said. What else are you going to do? You've been doing it for so long already. If you quit now, who are you letting down? You're not letting down anybody else. You're letting down yourself. So, we... Be wise. I got in the funk. Yeah, okay, cool. It is what it is, but I had to, I had to come get myself. Get myself out of it. Once we got there, cool. We got the little piece of grace. We got the little reward. Vámonos. It kind of, like, motivates you to get back going, and you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, definitely. It's, it's not that bad. Yeah, no, 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 definitely. I mean, tomorrow we're going to experience another another event, another cool thing around other people with our management team, and it's like, oh, uh, shit, hell yeah. Why not? It's good to have some fun every once in a while. Every little once in a while. Every once in a while. Every once in a while. Right? Do it for the plot. Like for the plot. Like those, e- those events give you a reminder that it's like, okay, like, we are doing something dope. Yeah. I mean, you got to be doing something right, right? Yeah. No, yeah. Tomorrow, we, Toast of Life, will be at the LAFC pregame. Toast of Life and Friends. <laughs> get this motherfucker. <laughs> Just get him off. 
Let's get them off. How many, how many t- <laughs> no, for us, it's a toast of life at the primos. Oh, shit. You, primos. You're related. No, oh, okay. We're practically yeah, yeah, twins. Yeah, yeah. Like, look. We got the same, this. We're, we we got the same, this we same. We got the same mother, sister, cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, a toast of life will be at the LAFC game. And definitely, I mean, like anything, there's going to be a recap. There's going to be content. And there's going to be a lot. You you mm-hmm. said you said an a amazing quote today, early in the day. I say a lot of shit. <laughs> what did I say? So She's full of it. It, it was it was right after you got a PR package. You posted something, and I want you to repeat it to the world. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Ladies for the people that are feeling uncertain, that they feel it's corny, that they feel no one's gonna see it, you Ladies. said a certain of. Certain and I'll phrase. always say it. Just post your silly little video. It's just a silly little video. Yeah, I no, can't just post, post my it. Fuck. I feel at the end of the day, nobody cares more nobody than you cares. do. Nobody cares. They're only gonna they're gonna think about it for two seconds and then they're on and to the next thing. Forget, but you are gonna think about it for the rest of the fucking day. It's not that yeah. serious. Nobody not that fucking serious. cares Literally. more than you do. No, it's I true. You like it's true. It's gonna go through their fucking feed and they're gonna forget about it in ten seconds. But you're gonna fucking dwell on it for the rest of the day. <laughs> And that my <laughs> guys and girls is fucking caught out here, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a wrap. And with that's that, a wrap. And that's a wrap. It's a select podcast, episode one sixty three. This is a really interesting oh, episode. <laughs> yeah, one sixty three. A lot of a lot of laughs. A lot Lots of, of laughs. A lot of laughs. A lot of friendships. A lot of friendships. A lot of cut you, Josh. <laughs> we just built friendships. What? A lot of cut waters and a lot of a lot lots of cut jack. waters and lots of twisting. A lot of hot twists. A lot of damn hot twists. It's just like a lot of testosterone for me right now. Damn hot twists. It's not about the hot twists. <laughs> <laughs> it's a podcast. Like podcast. Jay looks like a hook to a type. Podcast out here, baby. <laughs> I want a hook to one of these, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs>